We got some free giveaways. Did Siri X help turn out the vote for President Biden in 2020? But now... You have a lot of black people that feel like we sacrificed a lot to make sure this administration came in and we haven't collectively re reaped the benefits. The Pittsburgh activist says Biden has failed to deliver on his promises. There's been a direct attack on our voting rights. That hasn't been addressed, right? We, we did all of this organizing around police reform, but like the opposite has happened. It's almost like we're last on the agenda. Right? A year ago, exit polls showed Biden's approval rating among black voters at 87%. Now, it's 63%. But ahead of the midterms, Biden and Democrats will need to convince voters like Farouk Al Sahid to turn out. Al Sahid voted for the first time in 2020. Democrats haven't done anything to improve my, qual my black quality of life in the states. We might just have to sit this one out. Jamie Harrison, chair of the Democratic National Committee, said the Biden administration has taken a number of steps, like providing funding for black owned businesses and historically black colleges and universities. What do you say to black voters who say that President Biden hasn't delivered on a lot of the promises he made on the campaign trail? I like to tell folks who, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. We particularly want to do more, but we got to have more votes in the United States Senate in order to do it. Maya Campbell agrees. The Philadelphia resident is eager to have her student loans forgiven. But I think you, he needs more time to really make real change. I love that he's putting a lot of particularly African-American women in position. And so Still, black really voters like Will Mega party. say Democrats need to get much more aggressive. What would you say to yeah. President Biden if you could speak with him? I would say, Mr. President, we delivered for you it's time for you to deliver, to deliver for us. A direct message from the voters that Democrats will have to win back before the midterms. Yamiche Alcindor, NBC News.